Over the next few days, I want to walk you through some of the resources that are available on the Canvas site that aren't on the main template page. So you're going to want to scroll down to the bottom when you go to canva.com to find some of these resources. And today I'll be showing you how to use their font combination generator. If you would like to join my VIP vault, which is my epic resource library, filled with cheat sheets, tutorials, checklists, and even stock photos for free, just go to LaShondaBrown.com or you can click on the link in my description. Without further ado, let's hop in. When you go to Canva.com, you're going to see a menu in the top left-hand corner and the default is the home page. But don't forget you can hover over these to show some other options. So if we click on learn, all of a sudden it reveals a drop down where you can look at the Canva blog, but you can also go to design school. Now I will review design school in another video, but when I scroll down, on the design school page, all of a sudden it reveals some resources. So in this video, I'm going to show you the font combination generator. And so this is a fun and easy way for you to find fonts available within Canva that complement each other. In a previous video, I talked about how you can search for this on Pinterest, but this is actually built into Canva itself and they're not going to recommend fonts to you that aren't available. So select your starter font and we're going to scroll down and let's decide to use this particular one. Now what I love about the font combination generator is not only does it let you know some fonts that look good together, it shows you what it would look like on a website. So this is Proxima Nova and they said this could be a good complement for this font. If you click the arrow in the right hand side, you'll see another example of this font being used. So if we click on font combinations again, you can scroll through the other fonts available on Canva and these are available if you are not paying for Canva Pro. If you have a Canva Pro account, you have even more options available. But again, you can see how many samples are provided down here below of fonts that work well together. So if you are doing a DIY situation on Canva, you're not a designer and you struggle with figuring out which fonts look good together, going to canva.com slash font combinations could be a quick and easy way for you to find some fonts that look good together and see them in action. So the shortcut is canva.com slash font combinations. And I hope this helps make typography easier for you. This video was part of the Canva Create-a-thon where I am hiding 25 secret words within my video. And if you are the first YouTube subscriber to find all 25 words, you will win a Squarespace website valued at $2,000. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the word for today. Make sure you write it down and save it for later. The secret word is font. I hope you enjoyed learning about this resource available within Canva. And over the next couple days, I'll show you a few more that are going to help you to create better designs within this amazing website. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel because I teach you how to grow your biz without breaking the bank. Until next time, ta-ta for now.